Here at Brockhill School Farm, we have a small flock of sheep and they're due to land very soon. They were scanned at the beginning of December so we can tell if they're singles, twins or triplets. Because we know how many lambs they're going to have, we know the correct amount of feed to give them. Some signs of ewes going into labour is they will, their milk bag will bag up and then they will take themselves away from the flock. Once they're ready to go into labour, they often stand up, circle and you'll see the water bag appear. Our ewes have been divided into singles, twins and triplets and we've got empty ewes there which have no lambs. We've had a bit of a population explosion today with the sheep two days early and we have had over half of our used lamb. What we did differently this year is we sponged our sheep. So we synchronized all of their cycles together to aim for them to all lamb at the same time. And it has definitely done that. They're meant to be due in two days time, but we've had 10 out and nine more to go. Behind me is our 10th ewe to give birth. She is pretty much ready now. She's been nesting for a while. I've penned her off so she has her own little bit. As you can see she's raking on the ground right now, nesting up ready. And she has quite, you can't see it, but she has quite a lot of discharge coming out of her back end, which will, she'll start pushing soon. And so hopefully we'll have another lamb very soon. is born is we check their breathing and then we um, put iodine on their navel right here um, which stops infection. When the lamb is old enough we decide to castrate it and put the rubber ring so it cuts off the blood supply. We also choose to dock the tails so the lambs don't get fly strike. When the lambs are a few days old we move them and the ewes into the country park on fresh grazing to stimulate the ewes milk production. We will look forward to show our lambs at the Kent County Show in July.